Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. So today's video is something a little bit different. Um, I'm actually doing a collaboration with Hayley from Parrot Talk. She's really, really lovely and has some incredible birds. And we are gonna be doing similar videos. So I'm gonna let her introduce herself and tell you a little bit more about what we're doing today. Hello everyone, my name's Hayley. I have a YouTube channel called Parrot Talk. This is one of three of my birds, Kiki. And today me and Sophie are gonna be talking about our favorite bird products. Now I live in the USA and Sophie lives in the UK. So it will definitely be a fun little comparison of what bird products are available to us. It'll also be really cool to see in comparison bird products that we have available from the US versus the UK. Once you're all done watching Sophie's video, come on over to my channel and watch me talk about my favorite US bird accessible products. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and have just as much fun watching it as me and Sophie did making it. So the first category is toys and it wouldn't be right to talk about toys unless I talked about the Planet Pleasures Rosewood toys. Um, so in the UK they're distributed by Rosewood, in the USA it's Planet Pleasures. Um, I think in Canada it's um, Hagen Harry, but these toys are just amazing. They are made out of natural materials like uh, palm leaves and things. They're dyed with natural colours and they're brilliant. They're also fair trade and handmade in the Philippines, supporting local communities, which I think is also brilliant. And the, of course, the other two best parts about these is the birds love them, as you can see. It doesn't normally come like this. It comes quite pretty and then the birds destroy it. Um, but they're also really affordable compared to a lot of other bird toys which are made out of rubbish materials. So highly recommend these ones. With all the products that I'm going to mention, I'm going to leave links down below if you'd like to go and check them out. Some of them will be affiliate links and that means that at no extra cost to you, I might earn a couple of pennies out of the commission which goes onto the bird's care. So it's totally up to you if you want to use the links, but if you are looking for some of these products, they'll all be down in the description. I also wanted to mention this toy. Um, I actually saw it in an Elle and the Birds video. Um, and I wasn't sure if my guys would like it, but they do like pulling out paper. And they've only had it a few times, but they really like it. They're like kind of crawling up it. I don't know the name of it. It's something like Pouch, but I got it on Northern Parrot, so you can get it in the UK. Um, but I just think this is a really fun toy and it's not something you see that often. So highly recommend this one as well. Now, if you have small beaks like mine, they are destructive, but they do prefer softer woods. And one of the woods that I like to buy for my birds are balsa woods. And a UK exclusive, we have a shop called the Natural Bird Product Company. And she makes all of these incredible balsa wood toys. And they've got like finger traps and crinkle paper and everything. And they are absolutely fantastic. They're all handmade as well. And the birds just absolutely love balsa wood. It can be really hard to find toys like this. And she's the only supplier I've found, but she's so, so lovely. Her name's Karen. And she's always willing to make toys completely individually for your bird. So highly recommend uh, the Natural Bird Product Company for these amazing balsa wood toys. The wood is so soft, but little birds really do love it. Now I could talk about bird toys for ages, but I just wanted to mention one last one, which are the West Coca Bobs. They are also another type of soft wood, and they are really fantastic for encouraging your birds to kind of chew and shred. Hello, Chip. Um, this one, it has some natural ones and some colored ones, but they also come in bigger sizes for bigger birds. They have all different kinds of ones that you can hide treats in, um, and they're not that expensive as well. I think these are really fun, so uh, definitely one to consider. <laughs> and also, I thought I'd just mention that like every single day the birds are on their worst behavior whenever I'm filming, so I apologize in advance. The next category is purchase, and I'm gonna talk about two different kinds. I'm gonna show you the first one. And we have lots of these ones. Uh, these are made by Trixie, and they're just a little forked perch. <laughs> Pickles is just muttering away, and she's so distracting. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> these, sorry, these are Trixie perches, <laughs> about 20 centimeters long, and you can get these on Amazon. We've got loads of them, and they are only one pound forty-nine. I think so they're so cheap, but they are natural materials, which means that they are all uneven. Uh, your birds can shred the bark off of these, and also they're going to be really great for exercising your bird's feet and potentially trimming down your bird's nails. So I highly recommend these. They're so affordable. Some perches can be really expensive and it's also good to have a good variety but I highly recommend getting some of these ones because our birds love them. The other perch that I wanted to show you is this clam perch. It's made of calcium, iodine and kelp which is obviously fantastic when they actually chew it. Um, there's some actual goodness that they are ingesting. But what I really like about it as well is it's a nice flat perch so it gives quite a variety to some of the other perches that we have in the cage and also gives their feet a little rest too. So I really like this one. Again it's from Northern Parrot. 
The next section is cleaning. Now with birds you have to be very careful with what cleaning products you use because normal household ones are toxic. So you need bird safe specific ones. And the one that I use is F10, hopefully you can see that. So F10 is an avian veterinary strength disinfectant. Um, it's really, really good. And also if you buy it in the concentrated form like this, I think it's about 13 pounds and it makes roughly about 20 spray bottles, which if my maths is correct, I did try and do it before, uh, should be about 65p per bottle, which is a lot cheaper than buying bottles individually. And uh, also it's better for the environment as well because it's less plastic. So highly recommend F10 if you're in the UK. I think you can get it in the US, but um, yeah, it's really, really fantastic. Now the other sort of cleaning thing that I wanted to mention is Easy Bed. Um, again, my boyfriend David has made a video on this, so I will leave a link in the description for you to go and check it out. I don't recommend having bars on the base of your bird's cage for many, many reasons. It's not good for their feet, and it also eliminates a huge portion of foraging opportunity, which is why that we use Easy Bed. It's about six to eight pounds for 20 kilos, and it's all made of wood. It's completely safe for birds, so there's no worries there. Uh, dust free, all things like that. And it means that the birds can kind of forage for goodies down below and it just provides another level of activity for their cage. Uh, some people will say that their birds don't use the base of the cage. All of mine do and they all really enjoy foraging down here. So I thought I'd just mention the easy bed. I'm not sure of the USA equivalent, but um, here it is. The next category is pellets and I don't actually use pellets as the main part of my bird's diet. I'm going to make a whole video on that so if you're interested in finding out why make sure you stick around and subscribe. Um, but the main part of my bird's diet is usually sprouted seeds, grains and legumes, healthy seed and loads and loads of vegetables and leafy greens. Now when I do feed pellets because I do occasionally the first choice for me is tops pellets because they're cold pressed, they've got great ingredient list um, and they're just really really healthy compared to a lot of the ones on the market. My second would be Harrison's. I also think they're quite good. They are baked, um, which has the potential to lose some nutrition in the actual baking process. Um, I think they're okay, um, but yeah, tops would definitely be my first choice and I don't recommend any other pellets. And I'll leave it at that because I'm gonna go into why in my other video. And the final category is a kind of miscellaneous training and treats category. So I thought I'd just throw in some products and um, maybe not everybody knows about or ones that I just really really like so I'm going to start off with my target sticks I know a lot of people use chopsticks and things like that you don't need to have like a fancy target stick um, you just need something that your bird can press its beak to and the ones that I use are these party sticks hopefully they will focus and not unfocus on my face but um, these are made out of paper and you can get them on northern parrots they're just called paper party sticks and I just use these for target sticks. I normally use, oh, I'm dropping them. I normally use the purple ones, um, but any of them are fine. And they're just something quite simple for my small birds. Obviously, if you have something like a macaw or a cockatoo, these might be a bit small, um, but these work really well for my birds and they're quite affordable. So I go with these ones. My next favorite training item is the Zoomax Teach Box and Bank. It comes with these kind of colored coins and things. And then you need to train your bird to pop them in there like that. Now, if you're not sure how you would get your bird to do this, my boyfriend David does actually have a whole video on how to train your bird to tidy up uh, using the Zoomax Teach Box and Banks. So if you're interested, I'll pop a card just above there for you to go and check it out. The next product is from Orkney Parrots. Um, I've actually put it into an airtight container, but I kept the packaging. Um, it's basically a complimentary dried vegetable mix for your birds that you can rehydrate with water. And I thought this was really good for a couple of reasons. I'm going to show you a picture of what it looks like in the pot now. This would be really good when the world gets back to normal if for example you're going away for a couple of days and you haven't got enough chop or someone's looking after your birds and you want to give your birds a really good healthy diet but the person who's looking after them might find it a bit difficult they can just add a bit of water to these vegetables and you can combine that with pellets or seeds and um, then it's a really nice little treat for them and really healthy for them too. Um, so I kept the packaging as I said it's got loads of different ingredients like fennel, sugar snap peas, peppers, ginger, parsnip, I'm not going to read it all out, but basically there's loads and loads of different vegetables just in this one mix, which I think is brilliant. The other thing that I really like is the person who created this from Orkney Parrots is actually a member of the blind and visually impaired community. And when I heard about that, it was, a, you know, a no brainer for me. Of course, I was going to support them because why wouldn't I, you know, I'm visually impaired too, if you don't know that already. And I just think it's fantastic when people create great products and you know, they're part of the community too. So definitely go and check out Orkney Parrots. As I said, everything will be in the description.
Next up is a, another kind of fun thing for your bird and it's from Rosewood. I hopefully you can see that because the light's kind of shining off the packaging. But it is called Flick and Fly I think and it's a big bag full of loads of natural grasses and for birds like cockatiels uh, it's a really fantastic enrichment treat because they can just pick off all of the dried seeds, they can chew the grasses and it would be like they would have in the wild. And actually the Conyers really like it too, so do <laughs> you mind? Um, so I highly recommend this. It's quite affordable as well. I think it's about £3.49 for a, a big bag. I've obviously used quite a lot of it, which is why it's all not as it should be. Um, but highly recommend this and it's something a little bit different for your birds to have instead of the kind of standard treats that you'd get. And also if you buy things like treat sticks which aren't necessarily the healthiest for your bird, um, this could be a good alternative. The final product that I wanted to talk about is Avian Tea. Now we have I think just one company in the UK that makes it, there's quite a lot in the US, but of course I'm going to recommend uh, Polly's Avian Tea from Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique. Um, the creative of this, Carmen, is really lovely and we talk at length about parrot nutrition. Um, but this is a really great addition to your bird's diet. You can either brew the tea and they can kind of stick it with you when it's cooled down. You can cold brew it. You can also give them the wet herbs, the dried herbs. There's also loads of flowers in here and there's also a few different kinds for different purposes. So definitely check out the tea. I think it's really fun and it incorporates a more kind of natural diet, including the flowers and the herbs and that kind of thing. So those are my current favourite products. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. As I said, make sure you head over to Hayley's channel now to see what she likes over there in the USA. Um, but thank you so much to Hayley for sorting this collab out for us. It was really fun to do and she's so, so lovely. So make sure you head over to her channel, as I said, and hit subscribe as well and check out her videos and also see her lovely birds because they're really cute. But from me and the really badly behaved birds today, thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you later.